talking about tea. Thank you for believing in what we are going to build together. Thank you for taking a spark and turning it into a big red flame here today. Conservatives 
They will be coming after us at any minute now. So we have to be ready. We have to be ready to work even harder. But together, foreign and misconservative cronies have been the opponents in all of our sites for this entire campaign. 2026 has been in all of our sights this entire campaign. But this is our moment. <laughs> Doug Ford and his conservative gover government have just lost touch with the people of this province. They deliberately ignored people's needs. Doug Ford cares more about lining the pockets of a few well-connected, wealthy friends than he does about building homes for real people. And Doug Ford doesn't have a plan to fight climate change, and he never will. Doug Ford calls our health care workers heroes, yet in the same breath refuses to pay them the living wage. Doug Ford could have class sizes and better support our educators, but he'd rather pick fights with teachers instead. People across Ontario are ready for a government that prioritizes the things that you care about. The universal health care system that supports you when you need it. Groceries, housing, utility bills you can afford, and education that sets you up and your kids up for success, and communities that care about each other and our climate. People are looking for a government that they can trust. It's not too much to ask for. Doug Ford doesn't care about the real people in Ontario. This has been made abundantly clear. And that is simply not good enough for Ontario families. Not anymore. It's time to earn back that trust. It's time to show that a government that you can trust is an Ontario Liberal government.
the center of my universe. And I'm blessed to have my mother, who's 87, Veronica, in my life. Hi, Mom. She's not here with us today, so it was a little too much for her. But I love you, Mom. Hope you're watching. You did get the link, right? Yes. <laughs> my mom was born in Poland. Yes, I'm the most Scottish-sounding Polish woman you'll ever meet. But they moved to France just before war broke out in Europe. My grandfather fought against the Nazis, and he was captured and put in a war camp. But thankfully, near the end of the war, he was liberated by an American soldier, and my grandparents and my mother came to Ontario. My mother and my grandparents gave me an amazing childhood, but it wasn't always easy. My biological father struggled with addiction and mental illness. He and my mom split up when I was three, and we lived in a roomy house with my grandparents in High Park, Stop Francis's. And I want to tell you this because it shaped who I am today. My mom taught me resilience. She instilled in me in the values of education, hard work, saving your pennies, never taking anything for granted. And I've always worked. I worked through school. I was working as a mother. Boy, that's not easy, is it, ladies? <laughs> no. And ultimately, I found work that was a calling. I got involved politically because of Pierre Elliott Trudeau's vision of a just society and the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, where people of all backgrounds can find a welcoming home in Canada. <laughs> was the legendary Hazel McCallion. <laughs> Hazel taught me everything I needed to know. Do your homework, she used to say. <laughs> and by that, she meant listening to people. But she also taught me to pay attention to how we manage other people's money. That was critical. Because these are the foundational values of life and in politics that I believe in. I've been a business leader. I've been a member of parliament. I've been the mayor of the great city of Mississauga for almost a decade. But today, this is the greatest honor of my life. Thank you. The trust you have placed in me to be your leader is a responsibility that I take very seriously because I love being an Ontario Liberal. I am proud to be an Ontario Liberal and I look at all of you and I know that we can do anything together. working professional 
us who see the dream of home ownership as a pipe dream. I've heard from young people worried about their future and their kids because we're not protecting this planet. And I listen to seniors, like my mom, who are worried that they will not have the support they need and deserve to age with dignity. There are some of the folks over 39 right there. There are so many challenges out there that are begging for smart, progressive solutions and real leadership. That is our task now. All of us, together, to fan out across Ontario and show people the difference. Demontrer aux Ontariens qu'ils pouvaient avoir un gouvernement responsable. To show people what it means to have a government that cares. And I'm excited to lead the way. Yeah.